What up? What up? What up, my favorite people? It is Thursday. I cannot believe that it is Thursday already. I want to welcome you to Thursday Night Live. I'm excited to be here with you. Um, and I've got some great topics tonight and topics that are inspired by you, but I, because they were a question that kind of came in, but topics that are so relevant for all of us for all of us. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Carissa and I am a success coach. I'm the owner and founder and the biggest boss babe you know. Uh, I'm the owner and founder though of 365 Daily Hustle and I am a success coach. I help high performing females balance their life, health, and their business, taking them from feeling frazzled to completely focused in their life and thriving in all areas. If you are catching tonight's live, put in your favorite emoji, put in hashtag live, drop something in the comment feed so that I know you're there. If you're catching this on the replay, welcome. It might not be Thursday, but welcome to tonight's topic. It's Real Conversations with me, Coach Carissa. So you might be knowing, noticing that I have this glowing light behind me, right? Um, but I just wanted to give a shout out because I'm feeling really freaking good right now. So today I was actually at a, a speaking event. I was speaking all about burnout and overwhelm. And I noticed through my window that I can see, I start to see this gal, she's delivering flowers. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so and I'm like, well, there's only one person that would add, that would be sending me flowers, and that is my amazing boyfriend. So just shout out to the guy who's uh, delivering flowers from so far away. I truly appreciate you, babe. He has literally showered me with gifts all week this week. Um, so speaking of gifts, he uh, he didn't give me this hat, which I absolutely love, you guys. But he gave me sometimes a little bit better hat. So I don't know if you can see it. It's a, it's a couple of letters, but it stands for legendary. And that's that's what I'm going for, right? That's this boss, babe, and I'm going for legendary status. All right, so tonight's topics, we're covering two in just a short amount of time. So stick with me, and I promise you will take away some awesome golden nuggets. If you are feeling energy, like just drained, if you're feeling like you can't make it through the day, if you're noticing that you're wanting to grab a monster or a second or a third cup of coffee because your energy level is low, your lack, like your motivation level is low, your willpower is low, you might be feeling overwhelmed and stressed out and kind of on the verge of burnout. And what I want to really talk to you about energy today is that you know, that's up to you. You can change your vibration that you're putting out. You can show up every day and be like, oh, my life sucks. And, and that's the energy that you're going to put out. And dang it, that's the energy you're going to attract. Or you can show up and decide to live your best life. Okay. So um, really quickly, I want you to just, if you have a piece of paper, great. I'm going to give you some like two different lists. So I want you to make a list for yourself. And the first side of the list is going to say energy draining. Okay, just like a T, right? Energy draining. Okay. The second side of the list is um, energy givers. Okay. And so you have two separate lists, right? And as you start, I want you to write down on the energy givers, or I'm sorry, the energy drainers, um, things that could be causing you to feel less energized, to feel less alive, to feel less like you. Maybe you haven't felt like you since COVID started in March. Maybe you're still noticing yourself hitting the snooze over and over again. Or maybe you're noticing yourself at three o'clock, you're just like, oh, I'm done. I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Let's take a look at what could be draining your batteries because I don't know about you, but if I don't plug my phone up like every couple of hours, my phone's going to die. So our brains, our bodies are constantly on. Our phones are constantly on and our bodies are constantly on. Our mind is constantly on. So things that could be draining your energy and you have no idea is number one is sloppy boundaries. I'm going to get real with you. You know, this week I bent my boundaries a lot and I needed someone, someone very special, uh, my boyfriend, uh, he had to call me out on this this week. 
he was like, babe, your work-life balance is a bit off this week. And I'm like, ah, and at first I wanted to be very defensive and I probably was. And then I sat back and I reflected and I was like, oh my God, he's right. You know, like, and it's so easy to say, well, I have these deadlines. I have to get done. But at the end of the day, um, it leaves me feeling like de-energized. And the people in my life that I want to give full energy to don't deserve that. They don't deserve a half-assed Carissa that shows up like, Meh. okay? So things that could be draining your energy are sloppy boundaries. I'm going to give you a tool for that here in a little bit. And what I mean by boundaries is that you're stretching your, your boundary lines. So think about when, when we think about COVID, it has blurred our boundaries so much. This is so, so like relevant because a lot of us are working from home. We're working from home and therefore it's hard for us to shut off work and it's hard for us to say, okay, work's done. Life needs to now happen. Okay. Um, so sloppy boundaries. Uh, a second thing is over, um, over committing yourself, saying yes. Any people pleasers out there? Anyone who likes to say yes and know that they shouldn't? Yeah, that's big, okay? Uh, negative people can drain your battery so quickly. I don't know if you've ever walked into a room or a meeting and Scott, especially right now, right? With all this, with all the political crap going on, that's negativity and that is draining you, you guys. You're so consumed with the news and what's happening. You're stopped consuming, like you're stopped working on your life. Negative people drain your batteries. Uh, the, the fourth one, I guess, is, um, let's see. Um, I can't read my writing. Um, at, let's go to the fifth one, alcohol. Okay, sometimes we think we are drinking at night more often than before because um, we are over, you know, overwhelmed at work. So when work's done at four o'clock's done, we tend to look for different types of coping mechanisms, things to kind of numb out the pain of your busy, busy day, your stressful day. So booze and other things that we're not going to talk about, but alcohol and substances. Okay. And then another thing that could be draining your energy is overthinking. I have a lot of entrepreneurs that are, you know, that are trying to start their business. I have a lot of people who are wanting to lose weight and they're just overthinking it and it stresses them out and it causes them to not have energy anymore. So those are the list of energy drainers. Okay. And I told you that I have an awesome tool for you. You can go to my website. The link is in the description here, but you can go to www.365dailyhustle.com. You can go to resources and you can download this boundary self-assessment tool. It's going to allow you to um, really look at the different areas in your life, like physical boundaries, emotional boundaries, financial boundaries, time boundaries, non-negotiable boundaries, technology, work, relationships. There's so many boundaries that we can really tighten up that will allow us to feel energized again. Okay, so enough about the drainers. Let's talk about the things that give us energy, right? So just like sloppy boundaries uh, can drain us, clear boundaries can help like just give us energy. Knowing that, you know, like who you serve or what you serve. Um, one second. Hey, Sarah. Oh, gosh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. I saw a white dog that looks just like this dog on my floor. And I was like, oh, my God, she's out. Okay. So sorry, that's what happens during a live. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, setting yourself some clear boundaries will help you really feel energized. All right, number two is to get outside with nature. I know it's cold and the weather's turning crappy, but it doesn't mean you can't bundle back up and go for a walk. Maybe travel, go somewhere warm. Get in one with nature, connect with nature. Um, the third one is vacation or take a staycation, get out of your normal environment and go stay at a fun place locally or non-locally. Another one is learn something new. Pick up a book and learn something new for yourself. The, another one is do something creative. So maybe it's you, you, you want to bake or you want to cook or you want to learn how to paint. You want to learn how to, you know, create something. But being creative, it just energizes you. You guys, when I'm thinking of new creative programs for people, for clients, new creative talks for, for, for companies looking to bring me in and speak, it gets me excited. 
It fills my tank back up. I feel amazing. It's getting creative. All right, and then some super easy ones is drink more water. You guys, we all need to drink more water. There are so many benefits to that, but uh, drinking more water can definitely help. All right, and then the last one is proper nutrition. Obviously, food plays a big role with how we feel and our energy. If you're not eating enough, if you're eating too much, if you're eating foods you, you know, that are like heavy and like just energy draining, those can all play a big role. All right, so um, the biggest thing here, you guys, was the question is, how can I help balance and boost my energy levels back up? I want you to take some things off of that energy giving list and start doing them. Start doing them. All right, topic number two, and let's see how much time I got. I've got just a few minutes to touch on this. So um, the question is, is that she said, I'm trying to like manifest my best life. I hear you talk all about, you know, like manifestation and like just, you know, like planting the seeds and watching things grow. And girlfriend, that is exactly what I do. So besides creating a vision board, which is fantastic, do not get me wrong, I have a vision board, I have a vision storyboard, um, I love creating like this, this dream board of what I want my life to look like. But it goes a little bit beyond creating just a fun board for yourself, okay? So how else can you boss up and create your best life? Well, the first way is you can incorporate meditation into your day. And I'm not talking 30, 40 minutes. I'm not talking a full yoga class. I'm talking just like five or 10 minutes is all you need. You guys, I try and do this three times every, every week. Now, if it was up to me, I would love to do it seven days a week. But, and that's my intention, right? Every day my calendar says meditation. But sometimes my spiritual hour, hour includes meditation. Sometimes it includes reading. Sometimes um, it includes reflecting and journaling. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But what you will notice is that I'm always taking some kind of time to really dive in and think about how I can become a better version of me. All right. So meditation. I literally like get some easy calming music and I turn it on. I turn my chair this way. I stare at my vision board and I just sit there and like this, it's guided meditation to help me achieve my goals and dreams. It's, you know, like I think about what it's going to feel like when I'm on stage speaking in front of thousands of people impacting the world. I think about how my bank account's going to reflect. I think about how much more I'll be able to give and serve when I have that kind of income to be able to do that. I think about everything. So not only do I start to imagine what my life is going to look like once I've already achieved my goals, is that I think what's next, right? What is next for me after I'm speaking on stages? What else can open up for me in my life? Okay, so the second part of manifesting your wildest life, right? Your best life, your plain big life, is to take empowered action, to take inspired action on your life. It's one thing to just wish and hope and pray and dream for that life. It's a whole nother thing when you can put action and back that up with manifestation or manifesting, sorry, manifesting, well, manifesting. All right, so um, it's, and it, I just want you to think like some people are like, oh, but I am, right? I am taking action on my business. But there's a big difference between busy work and inspired work, right? Creative work. So quick story about how I decided that I was going to leave my full-time career to become a success coach, to become a speaker, to become an influencer. And it all started with a vision, right? I knew what I wanted to do. Once I figured out what my passion was, I was like, okay, how am I going to make this work? How am I going to leave my job that really supports my family and how am I going to just step into faith and let, let go of fear and doubt and judgment? How am I going to do all that? So I was like, okay, one step at a time, right? One day at a time. It started with, I was like, I need to get my LLC. I need to get a business card. I want to make a flyer. I want to do a Facebook Live. Um, I want to start working with clients. I want to go to school. Like all of these empowered actions towards becoming a coach. Baby steps got me to where I am today, right? 
So then once you, you know, start to like take action every single day, that builds confidence. It builds momentum up in your life and things are fantastic, right? You have, you're like, yes, I can do this thing that I wanted to do. And then it just gets you that much closer. It totally gets the ball rolling. And you guys, I work with entrepreneurs all the time or people who are wanting to do that. People who want to lose weight and get healthy. People who want to start changing their habits and bad habits and turning them into good habits. And we always start with like a visualization, right? We plant the seed because what we start to think about, we start to say, we start to do, we start to act. And that's the magic. That's the magic of making shit happen, you guys, is you have to act. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed uh, our two topics really quick, down and dirty. That's kind of how I roll in under 17 minutes. Um, if you are a lady, if you are a woman, if you are a go-getter, high-achieving, fear-facing, like, yes, girl, I would love to invite you to um, a, a summit, a virtual summit. It's an international women's summit called Boss Up. And the description and the, the, the invite is in my description, I guess I should say. All the details are in the description of this Facebook Live. Okay, it's a free event for you to attend. All you have to do is show up, play big, and learn from experts from all across the world. We've got Australia, we've got women from China, we've got people from Nebraska, right? Yes, I am one of those 15 um, international speakers that's going to be popping in. I'll be giving my Surviving to Thriving, How to Hit the Reset, and Boss Up Talk, which I cannot wait. But there are going to be so many other amazing speakers that are phenomenal, right? They're going to be teaching business strategies. They're going to be teaching life strategies, health strategies. So if you're looking for ways to boss up in your life beyond just like listening to my Thursday night lives and possibly coaching with me, this is the event to be at, ladies. Get signed up. Register now. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, I love you. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I hope you have a great Friday. Y'all stay 